everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, and welcome back to another vlog. In this vlog, I'm going to try and show you guys all the productive stuff that I want to do in this uh, time period that I have off. So, I want to try and be like as productive as possible, but still relaxing because, like, this is my meant to be my relaxation like period anyway. So, I feel like it's good to have a balance of like not being too hard on yourself, but also feeling like you're getting stuff done and like this is a almost hopefully once in a lifetime opportunity to kind of be at home and get stuff done so that's how I like to think about it and it also gives me like goals and stuff to do for the day um and some days like yesterday I just wanted to do nothing that was my goal for the day and um I managed to do that successfully <laughs> so um yeah today I feel like I want to reorganize my room um I want to put some makeup on and take some photos from my Instagram and just like stuff like that I've got a few like nitty bitty paperwork stuff that I need to do as well both for YouTube and for registering online with becoming a doctor you got to go through like a lot of processes with something called the GMC here in the UK so that like, you have to fill out forms and then they like send you the part two etc so um that's kind of what I'm going to be doing first things first I need coffee but guys I just want to put it out there my skin has improved so much I've just got this little tiny blemish that came up last night but I feel like that will go away as well. I'll put some spot cream on it. So I'm thinking of showing you guys maybe my skincare like transformation in the next video. If you guys are interested, leave a comment down below because basically my skin really, really broke out. Like it was not the norm for me. I know some people have like the type of skin that breaks out and recovers or like breaks out often. But my skin genuinely used to be a lot like this where it was quite clear. And so when I had a bad breakout, I came to you guys on a vlog for advice and a lot of you guys gave me good advice and a lot of the old stuff that I was doing really helped so um, I've kind of taken on both of those and also my sister Sina gave me a product as well that really helped with like targeting spots so if you guys want to see that then let me know in the comments and it can be in the next vlog Salam so She's fixing her hair <laughs> I swear I didn't even tell her I'm turning on my camera What happened? What happened? Um, I'm showing everyone my outfit of the day. So this is my outfit. The top and the shorts are both from Pretty Little Thing. You know you're in the in the camera shot. Yeah, doesn't matter. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Tell them tell them what we just filmed. We we're just filming about bullying. Yeah, we just filmed a video together about cyberbullying on Misa Gerdema. It is all in Farsi, so if you can speak Farsi, it's helpful. Bashamar and Misa Gerdema, I'm here filming Jari Kozashtim Baraye Bullying, so Hatman Tamosha Kori. We have run out of Nespresso coffee beans, so like if you watch my last vlog, we had like one left. And we've run out and we haven't got new ones, so I'm having instant coffee. Huh? She ordered it. So I'm having instant coffee today, which believe it or not, I actually really like. It reminds me of sick form when I first started drinking coffee. When I was in sick form, the only thing they sold was like these little instant coffees. And I'd have one of those with like three sugars and milk at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'd also have one at 8 a.m. I think that was genuinely when my like coffee addiction began because the kind of person I am, like even from when I remember when I was like in year seven, is like I would fall asleep like in, in assemblies I would fall asleep, in class I would fall asleep because even if I've slept well I just I would fall asleep if I haven't had any caffeine whereas give me caffeine and I'm wide awake so like yeah I'm been addicted and my mum is going to be really sad to know that I'm not going to be giving up Red Bull even though I promised I want to finish my degree I'm going to give up Red Bull I just can't do it guys, I can't um, but yeah let me have a coffee this the coffee we're using we're going to put this with hot water and milk yeah. This coffee is actually really nice. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, but it is nice, you know what I mean? It's nice. I, I won't complain, I've got something. It won't be prep, it won't be Starbucks, but it is what it is. So apparently there's a delivery in my, um, porch for me that I haven't seen because I was asleep and I'm freaking out because someone my mum's freaking out as though it's flowers and it's like no offense but who's gonna send me flowers it might be from Sol it says Dr. Seppi on it who is this wait I don't even know who it is from 
I have a guess who it's from. I have two guesses who it could be from, but I feel like it's the first guess. So, this is the package. Okay. I don't even know how you open this. Nigga! Oh, man. Let me see. Let me see who it's from. Okay. Let me see. I think I know who it's from. Oh, it's from my aunt. This is from my aunt. It's not who I thought it was from, um, but still, it's from my aunt. It says, Dear Stephanie Joy, congratulations on graduating and becoming a doctor. We're very proud of you and your achievements. Wishing you all the best for the future. Lots of love. So here we have it. The flowers, they are so pretty. Thank you guys so much. I wasn't expecting this at all. And I'm gonna put them in a vase. That's a nice surprise delivery to receive and it's really nice to get flowers in the mail. Uh, this is the second time it's happening to me this year and I feel like, what is going on guys? I don't actually like receive surprise flowers ever. So I feel very like emotional about that. Um, but yeah, wow. And it was really nice that she was the first person to send me something that says Dr. Seppi. So thank you so much. I've had to come downstairs to do my makeup because Sign is filming a video upstairs. I hope I don't sound too quiet, but I just don't want to make like background noise for her video. But you guys, oh my god, whilst I'm doing my makeup, let's discuss. Has anyone seen the Elnaz Golroch um, follow me music video? Um, if not, please like give it a watch and see why it has been trending on YouTube. So actually, I've been following Elnaz since when she lived in Iran. Um, I actually love her work. Like she's a well-renowned makeup artist. But oh my god. The music video like we just we need to discuss like let's discuss this in the comments like tell me what you think about it um i think it's really cool like the artistic direction in it and like it looks really fun but like obviously everyone has been talking about this because of how she pronounces things and how she's like um don't think you know me or something let me just play it hold on A lot of people are basically talking about how with her English accent and such thing, think, like she's saying tink and stuff like that. And obviously I've grown up in a household with like Iranian parents who English is their second language. Like even if they came to this country like almost like 30 years ago, English will still be their second language. So like I fully get like having the accent and stuff and I feel bad for her that everyone's mocking her. I don't know if she's like playing it up because obviously it gets a lot of publicity or if like that's genuinely her but I feel like it's it's a bit mean how like everyone's having a go at her when English is her second language in my opinion like don't get me wrong like I see it I see I see the humor humorous side to it a million percent and I see a lot of people saying why don't you just sing in Iranian seeing as like Iranian like Farsi is like your first language but I also see it from like the perspective that like my mum and dad like have an accent but still love to talk English and like can communicate with more people in the world by speaking English than they do than in speaking Farsi. I'm gonna be honest though as well like it's really really catchy like can I see myself dancing to that in like a pool party in summer in like like Dubai Nikki Beach yeah probably I can see myself being like follow me yeah super catchy but yeah I just want to know what you guys think last night I stayed up and watched Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson's um latest kind of what is it called again like a conspiracy theory video like basically the the world of Jeffree Star and oh my god like I basically started watching because I'm really like I started off being really fascinated by Jeffree Star and I ended up finishing the video really really liking him like I just there's something about him where I feel like his whole like um being like critic uh, critical of other people and like saying what's on his mind is just like it's part of his personality but like deep down he's like a teddy bear but like Simon Cowell I really really get that vibe and like I just really 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 liked him and I loved like watching him in the series because it's really like 
behind the scenes like you know like a vlog version of him um which i loved like yeah i'm so i really like him i know there's a lot of controversy around him but i don't really know why i don't know what the i've never looked into like the tea of the beauty world so if anyone wants to fill me in in the comments let me know because the only ones they addressed in the documentary was like the ones of like him and like lara lee or something like something like they they had a group photo without him and that was his best friend like uh something like they they left him out or something i don't know what that was about and also some some digs he's thrown at like the kardashians so yeah so that's what i've been watching and also kylie jenner's new house guys i am in love with it i feel like the outside bit where it's got like loads of like little cabanas just reminds me of like a resort hotel in like dubai it was so it looks so beautiful on instagram and like there's little tours of it online and i just can't help but feel like if i was a celebrity i would feel like i have zero privacy that like i've literally just moved into this place and there's like a million photos of my house already on the internet for everyone to see like me personally like people ask me like do a house tour and I will sit and think on it. I'm like, mm, well, I'm not the only person who lives in this house. Is it fair for me to, like, go around and, like, tour the house for everyone? But, like, imagine these celebrities don't even have a choice, which is, like, quite mad to think. So, um, yeah, but not going to lie. It is so beautiful and I, I'm obsessed. I think what she's managed to do for herself and build an empire for herself is incredible. Same with her. Same with Huda. Huda Beauty, like, building in the business world and obviously jeffrey um like have really really killed it and like they're kind of the examples of like how you can use social media to like your advantage like technically i feel like kylie was the first kind of not the first but like her like the kardashians were all like the pioneers of instagram modeling and influencing and so like they've really shown like they'll pave the way almost um same with huda like in the beauty world she was definitely she paved the way um and uh jeffrey is definitely up there again with with youtubers who have like done so well for themselves and set stuff up for themselves because he was saying about how like in jeffrey star was saying in his um like a video with with Shane Dawson about how Nikki tutorials only made fifty thousand dollars off of like one of her collaborations, which I thought was like absolutely mad versus how she had like ten million dollars in sales. So yeah, it's amazing when you set up your own business how much more money you make. Because Jeffrey was saying how he could make like ten million dollars off of one palette or something. So that is absolutely crazy crazy today's nose contour also looks crazy did it i don't know if i already explained why i'm doing my makeup but it's basically because i want to take an instagram picture in the outfit that i'm wearing i literally just put it on for filming but i really like it and it's like really what the kind of vibe that i'm going for right now like at home like chilled vibe like just a kind of printed tee and like i really hope this isn't a band yeah but like i hate it when i wear band tees and i don't even know who the brand is that I'm like wearing the tea of so it's kind of cool to just wear a printed tea that doesn't belong to a band watch how someone's gonna write it belongs to a band um so yeah I just want to show that so guys also just wanted to point out Daily Mail did an article with me because um if you guys don't know I was on a tv show when I was 21 called Rich Kids Go Skin it was just one episode um but I'm using the Too Faced palette and the makeup i'm doing is really similar to the one i did for sina so if you guys want to see go on her channel it's like her second most recent video where i did her makeup um but yeah anyway so I, when i was 21 i was on a tv show called rich kids go skin and it was honestly such a big like learning experience for me i really really enjoyed being on the show if you guys haven't seen it i think it's available on youtube as well so um feel free to check it out i don't have the link for it because i don't i don't know where people watch it on youtube i think i've tried searching for it and i can't find it so yeah, I don't know where it is. But anyway, Daily Mail got in contact with me because MTV bought that TV show and they were playing my episode again. And they did an article on me and it was so nice. Um, like the, they just asked me questions. I didn't know what the article was gonna come out like, but um, they, when they released the article, the MTV like PR team like got in contact with me and were like, have you seen the article? And it was honestly such a nice article and um, it was really nice to like have a positive take on things. And like talking about you guys and my vlog and like YouTube and like how I connect with all of you guys and how 
we've built like a community on here of people that like I talk to all the time and how I feel like I'm really close to you guys. So if you guys want to read the article, I will link it down below. They haven't asked me to share it or anything, but I just, I liked doing the interview and when, when I saw the article as well, I saw that the person who wrote it was like really true to everything we'd spoken about. So yeah, I really love that. My mum is so cute, like she's so patient with us considering we always have to like film videos for YouTube where like we need the background to be silent, like she will be silent the whole time and I find that so sweet. And a lot of you guys love my mum and I don't blame you, I love her too. <laughs> Come say hi mum. <laughs> she keeps asking me because I haven't eaten yet today, she keeps asking me. If I want something to eat, I don't know why. I've just had like the worst crampy pains in my tummy. Like it feels like kind of like period pains, but I'm not on my period. Um, and like it comes and goes and I feel very bloated. I won't show you guys because I hate it when people like, I feel so bloated and you look at them and you're like, oh, you still look like normal. But I feel like I look bloated and um, my tummy just hurts. Like usually like if I stretch up, like that doesn't hurt me at all. But like recently, like the past couple of days, if I just stretch up, it hurts. So. I feel like I've just, I'm just having one of those months, you know what I mean? Like, girls out there watching this will know, boys probably won't know, but like, your hormones and stuff can just vary from month to month. So, I'm having to like, draw my eyebrows really thick, oh my god, this looks awful. Um, it will look better once I put mascara on, but because when my eyebrows are growing out, because I haven't been able to go to my usual threading place, my usual thread, I haven't been able to go to my usual threading place, place but my mum like just did the middle for me it's starting to grow out as well um and the rest of it I'm kind of growing out so that when I go back to my threading place she can kind of shape it the way I like because I want a high arch so in order for it to not show bless you in order for it to not show I have to basically like color in the whole thing with the Anastasia brow dip and that's why it looks a bit crazy it looks crazy crazy I think I'm like trying to move my mirror to get better lighting. I've obviously decided to not go for eyeliner. Although I'm not gonna lie to you guys, sometimes it makes it easier to do eyeliner if you really have your mascara on. <laughs> my best friend just texted me saying, I just turned on X on the beach, which was recorded and you're on my screen because of last night's MTV showing. Wait, someone else texted me saying you're famous. What? Mate, I watch one of your vlogs and I watch a bunch of A-level results days ones and you're always you always come up, you're famous. This is from my friend Jay. <laughs> Basically, I didn't bring my sheer loose powder down and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I find it quite expensive. Like, it's like 30 something pounds, the Laura Mercier one, for something that you're gonna like, basically like padding on and then brushing off, like so much of it goes to waste. Um, so now that I'm in quarantine, I'm trying to embrace my glorious skin and not use it up because I like to be matte when I go out. But I will save the expensive sheer loose powder for like when I'm freed from quarantine. My mum just asked me, is your lighting any good? Because I don't have any lights on. But I told her, we just chair in. That lip liner is awful. I won't even tell you the colour because it's just not shown up. So it was morning coffee, fine, I'll tell you, but it's not the one. Okay, I really like this one. I have no idea. It's, I think it says Ardell Young, but I have no idea where it's from. I think Sina got it from a drugstore in Latvia, but I'm not sure. Literally could be from anywhere. So on the sides, what I just put was Sugar Glass by NYX, and then in the middle, I'm putting this Too Faced Taffy lipstick thing. Et voila! I don't know if I should put a bit of highlighter here. I might put a bit of highlighter. So this is my final makeup. If you guys want to see a proper makeup tutorial, I can do one on my like Insta because I feel like, would you guys want to see it on YouTube or should I just put it like, an, like a short one minute clip on Insta? Um, let me know. Also my nails have grown out so much, look at that. Sina needs to give me some new shellac, so cannot wait for that. But yeah, this is my makeup. Now I've done my makeup, I am going to get dressed. Also, I was doing it in this mirror thing the whole time with all of Sina's rubbish here from her nails from last night. Um, and I am going to go take 
insta photos so this is the hoodie from the haul that i just showed you guys let me know if you guys like that i like do little hauls because i feel like it adds like a dimension to it so it's not just my day it breaks it up and you guys can see what i got um but yeah now it's time for me to eat something i literally have not eaten all day i feel like i keep saying this in all my vlogs where like it gets to like quite late in the day and i haven't eaten also my skin's gone kind of shiny um so yeah it's time for me to eat what have you made um again chicken I, I told you guys she makes chicken she makes it in bulk she buys it in bulk and um, some kebab Ooh. Um. <laughs> She I hates it when I tickle soup. her. Ooh! And rice. Show the rice. Guys, I don't know how to make rice yet. If you saw my Insta stories where I made Thai green curry, the rice was not mine. It was this woman's rice. Maybe you should teach me how to make Iranian food. Yeah? I also need to make over my room. Listen, I need to make over my room. My room's a mess. Your drawers have stuff in there that like are probably from the day you got married and I don't know why you kept it for this long. I'm not even lying to you guys. Like she she keeps too much stuff. Don't you think? Yes. Keshwat pull it I know. Um Yeah. My skin so do we Exactly. Yeah. If I keep it for ten years. If I throw away exactly the day after I need it. <laughs> That's what all the hoarders say, in my opinion. That's what all of them say. So we have the chicken, the rice, the salad, some cotlet. My mum has made soup. Yes, your soup. Oh, merci, mom. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, we are gonna eat now. I am literally starving. It's I can't kebab. 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 Sorry, it's kebab, not kebab. So I got myself donuts from Tesco. I these are my favorite donuts ever. I used to hate donuts, um, and then when I was like, I'd lost a lot of weight. If any of you guys watched watch my waist, weight loss video, um, I had to try and gain some weight back. So um, my personal trainer was like, go eat KFC, like do a dirty bulk, like have KFC, have donuts, like all of this. By the way, I ended up losing more weight that week. It was really weird. But anyway, that, that's when I got addicted to these. By addicted, I mean like, I don't have them often, but if I'm gonna have a donut, it's gonna be this one. And I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds or 20 seconds. This is it after 10 seconds in the microwave. So it's just like enough to warm it a little. Everybody, I take a hip name. Who loves me? Who loves me not? Who loves me? And it's like, who's he? Ada, we are, it is like midnight and I'm hungry again, which is so bad, but it's because I woke up so late. Um, Sina is being healthy and she's having some soup, but I am making myself pasta. But this is like literally the easiest recipe. It's so easy. Oh my god, you guys can see my reflection. It is so easy that I'm gonna show you guys how I make this really easy, creamy, cheesy pasta. You'll love it. Like literally, I've just put some hot water on, and when that's hot, we will come back. Hello. So I've put the pasta on the board, I've turned your soup on. Some soup. For some reason, for some reason, the TV like just right now has decided to play up and not connect to the wireless so the netflix is not going on the tv oh my god the focus is on the tv come back to me focus on me um so we're trying to fix that so we like to switch off the wireless thing because basically i want to start ozark because i finished money heist that's it i finished money heist incredible the best tv series i've ever watched in my life like ever hands down easy incredible loved it recommend it to everyone as in actually it's probably it's 18 that you it's, watched it without me it's 15 plus or 18 it. plus i don't know look at the age guidelines but incredible like every episode is like you're watching a movie like i just can't even like Come also on. oh yeah one of my followers i think her name was Mom. hafsa i'm gonna write it across the screen but one of my followers has started calling my vlogs instead of episodes episodes so thank you so much for that name i love it if you're not gonna watch this episode right now then feel free to watch ozark but you know don't 
don't give up on this vlog, I promise it's good. Um, I'm gonna show you my pasta recipe, so it's definitely good. So this is literally all the ingredients that I'm using. It's one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. So I'm using brown pasta, um, this is brown fusilli pasta. I'm using rocket, I'm using Philadelphia cheese, a tuna, and normal uh, cheddar cheese and some of my favorite truffle oil. This is the best truffle oil you will ever find anywhere. This is the pasta. This is one of the easiest pastas to make and yeah, it literally took me, I think all of like 15 minutes in total, that's with the boiling time and six minutes of stirring. If you guys try out the recipe, please let me know in the comments if you like it because I actually want to see if people like my cooking. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat this now because it's super yummy. Look at that. Honestly. My skin is looking so much better. I need to drop the routine. Drop the routine, bruv. I wasn't even gonna show you this, but. Also, my mum started picking off my shellac on my nails because I was moaning that I want fresh shellac, and now I just look like this. She's here as well, but I'm not gonna show you guys her because I don't want my views to go down. <laughs> I love the way I say that, like I'm sitting here looking like a spice. Looking like a spice. Wow, wait, show me your hair. Wait, yeah. you have to wait, you have to fade, do it again. That herbalescence flick. Look at this, she just blow dried her own hair. Isn't that amazing? Stop, stop, stop wiggling it, stop wiggling it. Wow. Wow. I'm so jealous. I'm Literally. So jealous. Everyone always asks me for hair care tips. I think you should. No, they always tell me to ask me <laughs> Yeah. So apparently, I have another parcel delivered to me. Um, and I'm not expecting mail. By the way, it is hailing outside. And it is the next day. Like, seriously? Another one? What is going on? But this one doesn't look like flowers. It could be Zara, but I didn't tell Zara I'm a doctor. So, like, I'm a, I'm expecting... Wait, let me put this down. Who's got me chocolates? This beautiful chocolate box from Hotel Chocolat. And um, there's a card, so let's see who this card is from. Oh, it's again from my auntie. <laughs> wow. Uh, even more gifts. Thank you so much. And on separate days. Wow, gives me double the excitement of fun to look forward to, to open, thank you so much. How fun is that? Um, now I have some chocolate to indulge in. Whip, whip, whip. I don't think my Zara delivery is gonna make it in this hail, guys. How pretty is that? Yummy. Mm. Rose. It's from? From Hotel Chocolat. I love surprise, oh, sorry mom. I love surprise gifts, this is from my mum's sister. Thank you very much, my sister. Um, so I'm gonna be eating family. that. Oh yeah, it's from my mum's sister and her family. Um, I'm gonna be eating that. It is hailing so awfully outside. Oh. Look at that hail, you guys. Can you see, it looks like glass has smashed on the car. I am a really, really happy bunny because we have ordered some Pizza Hut and this is my second time having Pizza Hut since the lockdown started like five, six weeks ago. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I really wanna have KFC, but the only KFC that's open right now is in Enfield, which is really, really far away. 
so yeah but like it's weird because I usually hate rain but we've had so much sunshine recently that I actually like can't help but feel like the rain looks really beautiful so um it makes you like appreciate things that you didn't appreciate before but yeah really pretty London look at this pizza feast we're having it for lunch and dinner that's why we've got so much that oh my god wow so guys I think I'm going to end this vlog here it's been quite a long one with a lot of surprise deliveries which you know I am not complaining about if anyone wants to surprise delivery me delivery me deliver stuff to me feel free I will make up a PO box and you can send me stuff um, no I'm joking or not joking <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna end this vlog here and start the next one if there's anything that you guys want to see and like I said the skincare stuff then let me know and I will film that um, I'm probably gonna film that anyway but just let me know and don't forget to check out my socials my Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Sefi Samoyan everything's always linked down below like subscribe Press the bell button, you know the drill. I'll see you next time. Bye.